Hey, welcome back to another video. So if you're like me and have a couple of grills for a while, you likely will start to see some similar things and, and need to do some maintenance. What I really liked about my Weber and my Big Green Egg is that they're very reliable. They require very little maintenance. I've had my Big Green Egg for 15 years and I've now had this Weber for nine years. And I bought this Weber off of Craigslist used. So I don't know how long the previous person had before me. We're gonna do some maintenance on both these grills. I'll probably do two separate videos, but I'll, I'm gonna start with the Genesis. This Weber Genesis has been the best gas grill I've ever owned. So you can start to see a little bit of the paint is fading. So really the problem is just rust. I mean, the rust has taken over. I clean this off, um, but you can see the rust is like really deep into the cast iron. So I did a previous video showing how to clean this. I'm gonna replace the grills. I'm gonna do the burners and the flavor bars and the knobs. You can definitely see some cracking going on here. Uh, this knob's actually not too bad, but I'm gonna replace all these knobs too. All right, this is the drip tray. When the grease goes down, it falls into here. I've never cleaned this out. I just now pulled this out. It's pretty disgusting, full of mold uh, and just, just massive mounds of grease. I'm probably just gonna replace this whole thing. So here's what we got. We got these flavor bars. We've got some burners. We've got some knobs and oh yeah this is gonna look super nice this is way nicer like look at this it's so old that like the red is already even gone that's funny definitely ready to replace I think these just pull straight out. Let me just see. It looks like it. They just suppress on, but they're probably stuck on. Oh, oh that one came off. still works. Yeah, these things have seen better days for sure. Look at that. Okay, so we got our lighter here. Looks like these have some type of a screw that's holding them down. They just set in there. I wonder if I have to move this thing. I'm probably gonna go ahead and sweep this out because you can see just how much, this is all rust, metal that's rusted off it looks like. Hmm. All right, I can't get this one loose, so I'm just gonna hit it with a little WD-40 underneath. I'm probably gonna just do both. There we go. Let that sit for a minute. 
Now these, they came like this from the factory. And I'm not sure if I should match, just leave what the factory was set, like if they've already been tuned, um, or if I should match, as you see, these aren't exactly the same. You know, maybe match the, um, the opening here. Uh, so, probably gonna put one together and just see how it is and then decide. This is just the lighting mechanism. Of course, it's gotta go under each side. You can see it's sliding on now. when this little tab here hits the end. So that's definitely all the way on. So now I'm just gonna push this back in. And then this down, like that. So I'm just gonna turn this on real quick, just to make sure it works. Oh yeah. I feel like they've already tuned this. So I'm just gonna to keep it like it is. This one comes off. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the ratchet to get that off because the flathead is just not gonna cut it. So just too rusted. See. Yeah, it's definitely just rusted shut. To get this out, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my, I have a big flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to use it down here to push against this piece right here. And that will push the whole thing out. You don't want to, you don't want to touch this thing. I think this is ceramic anyway. Uh, if it's not ceramic, it's a high temp plastic, but that's your spark lighter. Uh, push, push this out. that this part is in the burner when you can lift up and it feels like it's like in a tube thing. This is just gonna have to be like that because I'm not really worried about it because I'm not gonna be lifting this up. It's just to keep it from falling out is all. Probably won't need to replace these. not to do this one this burner because I don't ever use it uh, it came in a three pack so I'm like ah I'll be fine I'll also put this back seeing as how it's the only one that came loose get these nice and clean I didn't really see it necessary to replace these. Right. That's done. All right, we got our flavor bars. First, we're just gonna turn this on and make sure it works.
nice. Last thing is the knobs. The question is how to get these knobs off. They're just pressed on. We got a new one on at least. Just wiggled it a little bit. This knob has definitely seen better days. right on now the last thing I'll do just before I eat something is I'm gonna season this and it's good to go so there you have it new life into a 10 plus year old grill everything still works if you ever uh, need to replace components I would suggest you do it just like this hopefully this is helpful and Thanks for watching.